Hello and welcome back. This is Aaron and I'm going to be doing my top 10 books today. And let's see. Starting with number 10, I have Holes by Lewis Sackar. Amazing, amazing book. And I read everything starting from chapter 18 in one day. The rest of it, I started with my class, but it was just way too slow. So I bought my own copy and read, because the other one, I just go like snail the class, because of all the stuff we had to do with it. But amazing, amazing book. I recommend it if you haven't read it already. So next, in number nine, I have The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. However, I say it Riordan. Some people say it Riordan. I don't know. But, and as I've said before, the girl spilled water on it in class this past year. It was in my desk, and even though we weren't even supposed to have water, she spilled on it. She spilled water on the on my desk, and then my book got soaked because I didn't even notice until I opened my desk again and went for my book, and then it was soaking. But at least it still, at least it only soaked like halfway through on each side, or or like a quarter of the book through on each side, not the whole thing. Still, it was really annoying. So number eight, I have. Star Talk by Rick. Uh, no, by National Geographic. Star Talk with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Sorry, but <laughs> I don't know how we got mixed up with Rick Riordan. But Star Talk's there. And next, this is a very popular book now. This is The Serpent Secret. First book from Quran Mala and the Kingdom Beyond. Read it this summer at my dad's. It's a great, 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 great book. But it's awesome. So, there it is. Book six is The Burning Maze Trials of Apollo, book three by Rick Riordan. 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 Yeah. I don't even know, but great, 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 great book. So, next, I have Griffin Chronicles, Book 5, Secrets of the Deep. Who knows what lies beneath the surface? Well, that's what it says on the front. Sorry. <laughs> but Griffin Chronicles, Book 5, by E.G. Foley, or Eric and Guylan Foley. I don't know if I'm pronouncing Guylan right. Please don't get mad at me if I'm not. But that's number five. And number four is Welcome to the Universe, an astrophysical tour. Yes, I finally got that right. By Neil deGrasse Tyson, Michael A. Strauss, and J. Richard Gott. So, that's it. Great book. So, and in number... Um, three, I have The Giver by Lewis Lowry. Read the whole thing in one book. I meant in one day. Yeah, it's short, but it was just really exciting that I couldn't really just not read it in one day. It was exciting, sad, and it just made you want to keep reading. So in number two... I have The House of Hades by Rick Riordan, and it's The Heroes of Olympus, book four. Great one, just so you know. But you first need to read the rest of the series, or the one through three books of the series before you can read four and five, or four, but I think that's pretty obvious, because it isn't a series that's, like, you can read one after, um... Like book two before book one. Same with this, and actually, same with everything that is a series in this, I'd say. I have Jinx's Fire in spot number one by Sage Blackwood. The 
the conclusion to the, tr the to the Jinx trilogy, Jinx and Jinx's magic. I have all of them. This is the only one that I got. First, we got the first one. Then my brother won the second. That was a few years ago. He didn't even read the whole second book. And then. I read it and I loved the series, so I got this. So, thank you for watching this video. And, bye!